Hello ladies and gentlemen, I welcome to today's edition of Programming Wizards. Today, uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, design something like this one using the grid layout, okay? We're going to tackle grid layout. Remember, in the previous tutorials, we've so far covered, covered uh, the floor layout and the border layout. So today, it's a grid layout. You can see, it's just like uh, the layout that normally, like for example, when you're making a calculator or something like that one. So, we shall look at how to design something like this one. So, uh, welcome. So, the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to create a frame using the JFrame object. So, I'll say uh, JFrame frame equals to new JFrame. Then, uh, we shall set its uh, close operation so say default set default close operation then jframe dot exit on close then after that one we shall also set its title so say it's uh, frame let's set title now for the title I'll just give it a uh, something nice like a uh, grid layout then uh, they run through uh, the almost through the frame then we now come after creating the frame we create a panel create a panel and then we set its layout and then it is this panel that we shall add to the frame so say a uh, j panel panel equals to new j panel then uh we set the layout of the panel so uh, it's layout we just pass new uh, grid layout then we give it the uh, dimensions of 4 4 okay so that there will be four buttons in each uh, row after creating uh, the panel and setting its layout we add we add buttons to the panel so to add the buttons actually uh, in a short while I'll create a method, we shall create a method known as add button, add buttons. Okay, now inside this method, we shall pass the panel which we've already created above, and we shall also pass uh, the specific buttons. Actually, the buttons are like, uh, for example, the, the numbers, the numbers that uh, will always be clicked by the user. So uh, here are they, here they are. And we'll just this one should not be here. So uh, I'm going to have a uh, seven, the first one, seven eight nine zero four. Okay, up to uh, the end. Okay. I hope you can uh, see it clearly there is the equal plus minus times divide by so that is the way we add uh, our buttons now uh, what we shall need to do after adding the buttons let me just confirm something I'm seeing this one should not be here well this plus Okay, so I've, uh, uh, what we're going to do, uh, I think we shall come just come and uh, define the method. So just say uh, private private static void add buttons. Then uh, I'll pass the container object. Container, container, and then the string params. So string, string, 
string then uh, inside our method we shall use a for loop uh, to add uh, the specific buttons to the container so I shall say this should be private static so for string a single button to or string this are, in fact these are the labels okay let me just call them label instead of button then uh, we add them to the container container dot add new j button then uh, inside our j button instance we pass the label public void add buttons okay so that method shall be responsible uh, for adding our specific buttons then uh, remember uh, we, we set the layout and added the buttons to the panel so we have to add the panel uh, to jframe so I'll come and say uh, frame dot get content pen frame dot get content pen dot add then uh, inside it we pass the, f the first parameter that we pass is the panel then uh, we also pass the border uh, layout dot center like we want it we want the panel to be positioned at the center remember we discussed about border layouts in the previous tutorial so after that one we also have to in fact uh, we, we shall also need to define uh, we don't just want to add a, a button we also want to add the uh, text field the j text field up on the top of the buttons so uh, I'll just come here and say add text field on top so I'll say j text field I'll call it result equals to new j text field then I'll call it a result then uh, I'll come and say result dot set editable this one will leave false okay now after adding uh, the the thing uh, after adding after uh, okay after creating the jtx field object we'll add it also to the frame to say frame dot get content pen dot add then uh, we shall add the result the first parameter result then we pass the position we want it added uh, on top so I'll say border layout dot not okay then uh, after that run now we pack and show the frame so say frame dot pack then frame dot set visible We pass over there true that one I think should do uh, let's run it and see so here it is uh, you can see we have our nice uh, simple application that doesn't do anything 
okay so uh, guys i hope you've learned about uh, i hope you've learned about uh, grid layout okay please uh, if you have if you enjoyed the tutorial please subscribe to this channel so that you continue receiving more tutorials like this ones comment on this video share it with friends uh, like this video and please take care see you next time